I said, Tirupati, our goal is not only to build scientific excellence, but also to prepare our students to be leaders, innovators, and ethical contributors for our society. To all my dear graduating students, the batch of 2025, your time in the institute corridors and the labs is over. Now the world is your laboratory. Your journey starts today and I'm sure that each and every one of you graduating today are gonna rock the world. The degree being awarded today is your weapon. Wield it to shatter boundaries, ignite discoveries and forge futures. In a fond way, I call this batch the pioneering batch for this campus because the campus was built alongside with this batch joining us. So when they used to ask questions to us, I think those questions have played a role in terms of their fingerprint being on the campus development and infrastructure development here. Batch actually started their academic journey with a lot of challenges. Still, they could perform very nicely. That tells that their resilience and adaptability so that they they can succeed academically with a lot of challenges. Uh, this batch of students could uh, be shown as an example for how, you know, even when the chips are completely down and they're against you, you can still uh, make it up uh, by sheer perseverance and hard work. get an exposure to how science is in research labs. But then being recognized for the sort of ideas that I want to do, which have been encouraged a lot at ISAT Kripati, seeing that be validated and, you know, leading to the scholarship was a life-changing moment for me. It led me to realize that the questions that I want to ask are relevant and people are interested in answering them. At ISAT Kripati, we use a curiosity-driven teaching approach. The students come with very little idea of what interests them. By exposing them to fundamental discoveries, we ignite curiosity in them, which is very exciting for them to learn. So that makes them to identify and understand what interests them. The project kind of taught me not to look for uh, answers, but rather look for the right questions. So it's not about having the right answers, but the right questions. Uh, and once I did this project, I stopped you know, uh, fearing uncertainty or fearing not having answers to things. I just started exploring science and this perspective of looking at science is what uh, Isa taught me and yeah, this this was uh, highly, uh, highly important in my career at least. Here they actively encourage you to be the one to look at the source material, find other sources, read upon them, see how relevant they are. And I think this sort of practice is something that I will really miss, you know, like going up, staying up all night, going to the library, finding the correct books, finding the correct material. And yeah, this is something that ISER has inculcated in all of us. Beyond academics being part of the music club and being able to participate in cultural events like Spikmiki and inter ISER cultural meets have given me some of the best memories that I'll always cherish. We see the evolution of the students starting from the first year. So we say a group of young kids when they enter the first year with big dreams in their eyes. And then over the years, the development that we see in the students actually that is phenomenal. Once you are going out of the college, you carry a legacy behind and we are really sure that your success will be our success and we are really super proud of you. Uta sir, every day taught me something, either professionally or personally. And uh, yeah, there is a large contrast I who joined Iser and the guy who is leaving Iser. Thank you Aishwarpati for the foundation that made it all possible. Remember, as you rise, you lift all of us sitting here in the institute together with you and make us all proud. Every peak you conquer, you hoist the flag of Aisa Tirupati much more higher. Make sure that the name of Aisa Tirupati roars with greatness, your greatness. The journey of 2025 batch has been shaped by adaptability, greed and a strong sense of community. Our PhD scholars have demonstrated that not just technical expertise, but also the way they endure 
and fashion required to push their boundaries of science. Uh, ISF Tirupati is uh, providing uh, world-class facilities to the students in terms of uh, research facilities, academics and uh, outreach activities, etc. to give the Philip of uh, great research contribution by the faculty and the students. I also had the privilege to be one amongst the 17 students who represented India at the 73rd Lindor Nobel Laureate meeting held at Lindor, Germany. This was an incredible experience. They should know how to balance work, leisure, academics, everything together. Family is very important. So they should balance all these. And we believe that we teach them all values of life. It's not only the chemistry or physics or biology. Everything may not happen the way you want, but everything that happens provides you a learning opportunity. Learning is not confined to campus, but it's a lifelong process. Go out and, and learn and explore the world. And here you are graduating on this day. So I would say, look forward to a bright future. Uh, we know you are absolutely capable of it. You've had the best training that we can possibly provide. Uh, you've come out shining. And as you go forward, I know you will take the name of ISER. Be rooted to your ground. The science that shaped you. Be very loyal, honest and above all, be a good human being. This, this six years, I feel like I found myself and that's how I would like to describe it.